Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Meg in case you're new. Mm, okay guys, I know I look rough, but please forgive me. I have just been busy. I've been working on other things which are equally important and yeah, I had even forgotten that I was supposed to upload a video for like not upload, I was supposed to make a video for YouTube and uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I remembered. <laughs> and i'm going to make a video for you and in today's video it's a recipe i'm going to show you guys how to make spicy corn dogs and yes i hope you're all safe i hope you're sanitizing you're following the covid19 regulations because we just want things to go back to normal so let's help, help each other out please anyways watch my video if you like it, you just know what to do, and uh, yeah, let me stop rambling and just get straight to the video. Um, so guys, you need a full cup of baking flour and half a cup of corn flour. We're just going to put it in this bowl. tablespoons of sugar three four five okay six um you need half a tablespoon of salt Paprika, half a tablespoon also. Um, we need baking powder, a tablespoon, spoonful of baking powder. This is just the normal baking powder. You can get this at any shop. I don't know the price because <laughs> I've just picked it from the house. And yeah. So we'll just mix this up. stirring we add one egg you can add the amount of eggs you want you can add two or three but let me just add one and stir but it's optional it's not like it's a must it's optional then we add milk as you stir i think i'll just add this I feel like this bowl is too small but anyways let's just see let me add some more milk The consistency is just fine. It's 
So I've used two glasses of milk. We have a bowl. We have our sausages here. So I didn't have skewers because I didn't have time to go to the supermarket to get them. So I'm just going to use toothpicks because those are the most available form of skewers you can get. Um, so as I said earlier, I didn't have skewers, so I'm just going to use toothpicks and do this. <laughs> Um, so for your oil you will want to preheat it and if you want to confirm if it's heated enough you dip your toothpick or a skewer and if you see bubbles you're good to go so no bubbles it means not yet So let's try this again. Yeah, I can see some bubbles. This is pretty much okay. guys you have watched the video if you liked it you just now watch the video give it a thumbs up subscribe share comment yeah so that's it for today in the next okay my next two videos are going to be recipes until i figure out what i want to do next for you but yeah so thank you for watching until next time Bye.